Five additional pages of classified documents were found at President Biden's residence in that Wilmington suburb in a room adjacent to the garage. What's your reaction to this latest development? Well, my concern is that a special counsel was called for, but yet hours after that, we still had the president's personal attorneys who have no security clearance still rummaging around the, the president's residence looking for things. I mean, that would essentially be a crime scene, so to speak, after the appointment of a special counsel. So, you know, we have a lot of questions for uh, the National Archives. We have a lot of questions for the Department of Justice, and hopefully we'll be getting some answers very soon. So you just, uh, just this morning, uh, you have a new letter to the White House Chief of Staff, Ron Klain, uh, demanding more information about these classified documents. What more do you want to know? We want to know uh, the visitor logs to the residents. We want to know who had access uh, to the Biden Center for Diplomacy because uh, this is the same uh, type of uh, investigation that the Democrats were so outraged and, and launched and demanded happen to, to President Trump. What we see with President Biden is there are multiple locations. Uh, we would never have known about the possession of the classified documents were it not for investigative reporting by CBS that uh, somehow uh, got a leak to determine that this had happened prior to the election. So the administration hasn't been transparent about what's going on with President Biden's uh, possession of classified documents. And uh, we just want equal treatment here uh, with respect to how both uh, former President Trump and current President Biden are being treated. Former President Trump is under an investigation for his own classified documents. There are about 20 in the case of Biden. For Trump, there are, about, there are more than 300 classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. A big difference here, uh, just on the facts, Trump did not fully comply with the subpoena. His lawyers falsely told investigators that they turned everything in. Um, take a listen to what you told CNN about this situation last November. I don't know much about that. That's not something that uh, we've requested information just to see what was going on, because I don't know what documents were at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, so, you know, that's something we're just waiting to see what comes out on that. But is it fair to say that investigation won't be a priority? That will not be a priority. So what do you say to viewers who don't understand why President Biden's documents seem like a big priority for you, but President Trump, who took hundreds more documents, did not comply with the subpoena, did not reach out to the National Archives or the Justice Department to say, hey, we found these documents. It's not a priority. Do you only care about classified documents being mishandled when Democrats do the mishandling? Absolutely not. Look, we still don't know what type of documents President Trump had. That's one of the questions we've asked National Archives. Just because Joe Biden's lawyer said they turned over five documents doesn't mean they just turned over five documents. They could have turned over 500 documents. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't have a lot of confidence in President Biden's personal lawyers. At the end of the day, the National Archives Im implied to us uh, at former Chairman Maloney's request at, and told us that the National Archives was working with the Trump administration during the transition. That's the last communication we had uh, with whether or not the archives had worked with Trump on uh, removal of, of all the documents from the White House. So we don't know exactly what uh, Trump has versus what Biden has. At the end of the day, my biggest concern isn't the classified documents, to be honest with you. My concern is how there's such a discrepancy in how former President Trump was treated by raiding Mar-a-Lago, by getting the security cameras, by taking pictures of documents on the on the floor, by going through Melania's closet versus Joe Biden. They're like, okay, you, you're, you're personal lawyers who don't have security clearance. You know, they can go through, they can just keep yeah. looking and keep looking and, and, you know, determine whatever's there. That's not equal treatment. And we're very concerned. And there's a lack of trust here at right. the Department of Justice by House Republicans. That's the outrage. So I, I get that. But there's a big difference in how President Biden and his team reacted and how President Trump and his team reacted. The FBI searched Mar-a-Lago because Trump for more than a year refused to turn over documents to the National Archives and the Justice Department, which was trying to get them back into secure hands. Trump and his lawyers lied about it. Trump lied about not having classified documents, did not keep them in a secure location, did not comply with a subpoena, but said he had. And that that search warrant, which Trump forced out into the open through his legal machinations, that cited laws that Trump might have violated, including the Espionage it Act. 
It's my understanding that President Trump did let the National Archives go through on numerous occasions, Mar-a-Lago looking at the documents. What my understanding is, and again, we don't know because we haven't been briefed, was that President Trump was arguing with National Archives over what is classified and what is not. As we've heard the president say before, the president has the authority to declassify documents. Now the question is whether or not the president actually declassified the documents. The vice president does not have the authority to declassify. Actually, the vice, the vice president so, does you know, have. There's a big the, difference. The here. vice president does. I'm not saying we that, don't. We, we, the vice we, president we, does we have that authority. That. That. Well, we disagree that the vice president does. But just just to put yeah. a first of all. You're asking for the visitors logs at President Biden's Greenville uh, outside Wilmington, Delaware home. Are you also asking for the visitor logs at Mar-a-Lago? Because the issue of whether or not sources and methods are compromised, whether or not any of these documents got into the wrong hands, whether or not Biden or Trump uh, allowed documents to be kept in a haphazard way, that exists, period. And I'm wondering why the request for visitor logs in Greenville, but not in Mar-a-Lago? Well, we're doing the Biden family influence peddling investigation. And I can tell you what we've learned just in the last few days from Biden's mishandling of classified documents is that the Biden Center was funded primarily through anonymous donations from China. Was it the Biden Center or University of Pennsylvania? I know the University of Pennsylvania had. It was the University of Pennsylvania that funneled it through the Biden Center. And then you have the, the, the Biden Center says they didn't get any money from from Chinese anonymous do donations. I mean, I, I get that schools get money the, from Chinese donations, the, but this and there is, is a pattern here. Well, you're where is the what the American people are going to see from our investigation is a pattern of anonymous donations going to Hunter business deals to the Biden Center to the artwork that Hunter sold at that art gallery in New York. There's a pattern here of anonymous sources of money flowing into the Biden's pockets and Biden interest, and it's very concerning. This is a national security risk. That's my biggest concern, and that's why we're pressing forward with this investigation. So I, I guess uh, the average American uh, who doesn't really care whether the person you're investigating has a D or an R next to their name might listen to this interview and think, I don't have any problem with anything he's investigating when it comes to Biden, but how come he's not investigating all the same stuff when it comes to Trump? I mean, there are questions about influence peddling when it comes to the Trump family. There's questions about visitor logs when it comes to Mar-a-Lago. I mean, if you are going to be doing uh, the Oversight and Accountability Committee, which you've renamed for the American people, not just for Republicans, it would seem to me that all of it mm -hmm. should be investigated. And I think the influence peddling with respect to the Trump administration will be a part of our overall investigation because both Democrats and Republicans have complained about this with the previous two administrations. So something needs to be done. Also something needs to be done with respect to how classified documents leave the White House and go to the post-presidency or post-vice presidency. That's another issue we, try to, we will try to fix uh, from a legislative point of view. But with respect to investigating President Trump, there have been so many investigations of President Trump. I don't feel like we need to spend a whole lot of time investigating President Trump because the Democrats have done that for the past six years. So no one's been investigated more than Donald Trump. Who hasn't been investigated is Joe Biden. And that's why we're finally launching an investigation of Joe Biden, the House Oversight Committee, one investigation, and I hope to have it wrapped up as soon as possible.